Okay, here's our model. What we want to do is have our select tool. Be sure the model layer is selected. We'll click and drag all the way up to the top with our image open and we'll drop here. So if it's different color is okay because other ones was 16, I think, bit and this is 10. So right here we have our model where we can place it. But you know what? Actually, before we do this, let's work a little bit on our background. And if you remember, we render and we save it this as um, PSD and HDR. So I want to look how it's with HDR, what we're going to do. So we'll go open Photomatix Pro now, and you can use any other applications. I just kind of used to this. And by the way, this is a not latest. It's a little bit older application we have before. I just like to use it. So now we're going to open HDR file that we created. Let's click on a tone mapping. So what's happening here, you can see as performance create a lot of very nice texture. And it's what I wanted. I want all of this texture, not necessarily colors, but the texture. So let's increase our white point. Just see if we can want to brighter. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay, we have our tone compression. Play with this little bit. I think will pop up. And usually like I say I want this compression, I want this kind of grungy effect. Okay, when we're done, we'll go click apply. Take a second. Now post-processing. We don't necessarily need to we have contrast now. Let's go to contrast. I don't know if we needed to adjust lights and this maybe just a little bit add. But we want to pop up a little bit on sharpness. Done. File. Save image. And it will save as a TFF format. Okay, so now we can take image that we just created and open. It's kind of open. We need this size because I think it's a, even at the same size, it's kind of funny how it's 502. There you go, 500 pixels. Let's go click OK. And we need also. There you go. So notice what happened before and after. We have it more texture. So I can actually create another mask for this. Let's drop below. And with the mask, pen brush, let's select our mask tool white color 10 percent i actually can now start painting textures in this area where i want it for example remember this is about ground so i can actually add more to the ground okay we're going to add a little bit to the planet to those guys make them a bit more grungy kind of stand out right there it's kind of almost painting some of this grinch effect right there before and after okay so we have it, our model let's place it and I think okay oops, select model we want to place somewhere around here so I want under feet we can put it some text but also I think that is kind of positioning um, overall, first, what is happening, of course, our contrast is different and our um, coloring is different. So we want to match those two. And uh, it depends what you're going after. If you prefer background match model, if you like how model look, you can go one way or another. Sometimes you want to do for both. So if you want to do for the background, we'll go with create curves between background and model. We'll switch to luminosity. And based on luminosity, we actually can go ahead and bring a little bit more contrast up. I don't know if I like this way, but we'll just do a little bit. Okay. And on the model, same, we can go create another curve. But if we do to the model, be sure we link it them together. Now, this is will apply only to our model. We'll go select this to luminosity. And now with luminosity, we can actually take 
and take just slightly adjusting. So we're going a little bit make flatten on the contrast. And maybe bring up. Overall, you can see we're matching one way. So it will be our contrast. Let's create another one with the uh, same curves. This one will switch to the color. Okay, we want parent again. Okay, let's call it color. And what we want to do is start adjusting. So I know it's a red. So we'll go to the red color and we'll put it a little bit to cyan. And you can see we can go quite a bit, but we'll just make a little bit coloring on her shadows and other ones. There you go. Like around there. Now let's go now on the blue. And this is our yellowish or in bluish. I don't think it's bluish. I think it's a little bit warmer. So we'll adjust just slightly matching on colors. There you go. It's not maybe very visible, but it's actually changing color. And now we have it more matching inside. Next step before we adding any other details, I want to add um, shadows to her. Okay, so for this one, we'll go below model, create new layer, shadows, and we'll do two shadows, short and long one. So this one will switch to multiply mode. We'll take our brush, let's come very, very close. But before paint, what I want to do, I want to hold alt and sample color around here. It's not total black, but it is exactly the same as the shadows. So now if I'm start going paint shadows, it will paint about the same color. It's what I wanted. So I don't want to just paint that maybe two. So we have 20% opacity going. And I, I'm just want to paint right here, just around the shoes. Okay, let's zoom out. Notice our shadows is going on the side, so we'll need it from her in a second. We'll do the shadows. Don't worry if they're too strong, we can always change opacity. Next, let's go to create this follow shadows. And to do this, we press um, control and click on a model. So we'll outline everything. Next, we'll go create a new layer. Let's drop this layer below between model and shadows. And because we already create a selected color for our shadows, all what we need to do is just press Alt Backspace to fill up with our color. And you can see, let's go bring up on top. This is what we have. It. Okay, this is our outline. Now we want to be putting down on the same as other ones. Um, few things we can do this. We can actually do skew, rotate, or adjustments, other things. And one thing I like to do it is go edit, transform, and let's go go with it distort first. So we'll go to select and adjusting like this. But the problem is if we do this way, you can notice your feet is not necessary properly way. So what I want to do, like to do, is going puppet warp. So in this case, I can lock, I can click right this area. Okay, and we can just go and adjust kind of like this. It is, remember, it's a stretchy, so it's look a little bit funny, but it's not that bad because we can also add another one and we can create all of this like poppy tool. So it is well, creating somewhat funny look. But it could create a very nice adjustment. Okay. So we'll adjust here. So when we're done, we have our shadows placed. Let's go bring on below her. 
You can see it's somewhat not necessarily look realistic because now we need to rework on this. So first we want to switch to multiply mode. It's very bright. Next, we want, if you notice on angle, it's a little bit fuzzy. So we'll go to filter, blur, and apply Gaussian blur to ours. Uh, let's pop up a little bit more around 24. So now you can see it start already blurring. Next, if you notice, sometimes it's blur more than on the bottom. So we'll go filter, blur gallery. We'll go select tilt and shift. Take the, our tilt and shift rotate oops like around here bring this to the edge and now we can kind of increasing you can see how we shadows changing so if we go more and it start sharper and more and more distortion so it's look more realistic on the shadows how it will happening and of course um next step it's very strong, so we want to switch. We can go to opacity and take opacity down. Okay, let's switch to normal mode. I want to just see soft light. The reason is why, because now we have a coloring problem. And we'll need to switch, just overlay a little bit on that. Okay. around here okay now let's, let's go create new curve link that curve to our drop shadow okay drop shadow switch our curve to color mode and now we'll go to red and a little bit more cyanish coloring it so i'm just trying to match somewhat overall color Okay, and I think on a blue, yeah, we'll just leave it as default. Let's go to all colors RGB. Just a little bit right there, I think. So kind of a little bit matching. Again, we can go inside and just adjust a little bit more. Okay. Don't worry if it does not match 100% because we will apply other effects to this as well. Um, it's maybe needed a little bit more adjustment, kind of hold down shift. Maybe need just a little bit this way, I think. Adjustment, a little bit more shadowing. There you go. Okay, next, it still does not match. And a problem with this because we also need to apply over all shadowing. We'll go on a shadow above. Let's create long shadow. Okay, we'll switch this to multiply mode. And again, with our brush, on just, just slightly. Like this. So it's overall kind of lighting. Um, next, let's go click on the model, create a new layer. And you notice because we put before um, parenting, before linking, it's also insert properly. So it's what we wanted. And this is a reflective shadow. So what a reflective shadow does, will create back because if you look on her shoes, it's a little bit brighter. So what we want to do is select again the same color before switch to multiply mode uh, multiply will have a darker but also will apply coloring and now I actually want to color right around her shoes which is make darker but you will see it's kind of start feeding her shoes will apply a little bit more of course this below shadows the dark one i don't necessarily like them we'll go fixed in a second they become a little bit too too dark very close ones okay let's increase and i want to just apply a little bit more like reflective on the guns reflective on your clothes a little bit overall we can see before and after okay so these short shadows right here we have it I think it's a little bit too strong. 
we'll just kind of remove a little bit like this. There you go. So at this point, we added shadows. We take and tied her in. Let's go and then next we'll start kind of more stylizing, maybe add some smoke effect to this. 